Let me just all record. Right. All right. So, how are you doing? I'm doing all right. I'm Excellent. A tired. Okay. Really? <laughs> That'll be okay. like, you know how they have, like, closing <laughs> things, like, not a robot, or, yeah. you know. Yeah, that's our that's uh -huh. our, our end line. Okay. Hey guys, Mystery here. Just a little intro to this episode. We wanted to try something out. We're going to read a book and then kind of have a discussion about it. And what are the implications and what are the uh, things we learn from it? What are the main ideas and themes? And just uh, kind of breaking it down and just having a little fun too. We made the choice to only have Mrs. Kavanaugh on film so that she could be unmasked and I could stay at a distance and be masked. So just so you know, we tried to follow those protocols and hope you enjoy the episode. Have a great day. Bye. My groovy cool sunglasses. There's a song part. Ooh, okay. I, Do you want me to help sing the song? Yeah, I'm trying to think of what's the tune though. It's I love my white shoes. 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 I love it. Yeah, do you love mm, my white? I, I love of. my white shoes. I love my white shoes. Or do we want to go? We were talking Beastie Boys. We could be like, I love, love my, my shoes. shoes and I'm, that's what I'm doing. I got a bit named and I'm and, and shoes. <laughs> <laughs> shoes all together. Shoes. Don't you tell me shoes. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Read me the book. All right. And um. Hold the uh, pictures to there. Yep. There you go. Welcome to Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. By who? Oh, yeah. That's very important. Yeah. Story by Eric Litwin, a.k.a. Mr. Eric. Mr. Art. Eric. Art by James Dean. James Dean. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah. Not, not the actor. Different guy. Oh, oh, okay. Good to know. Yeah. All right. Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. Oh, I have, do I have to do one of these? Yeah. Oh, God, that's always so hard. Pete the cat was walking down the street in his brand new white shoes. Pete loved his white shoes so much, he sang this song. All right, you want to see? I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. I love my white shoes. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, no. Pete stepped in a large pile of strawberries. What color did it turn his shoes? I'm gonna guess red. You guessed correctly. Yes. But did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Everything is cool. Excellent. It just occurs to me, I will, I will sing I Love My Red Shoes in a minute. Is there a copyright problem with showing the pictures? Maybe we should not show the pictures. Well, or do you think let's just go for I it don't know. and then we'll see if there's a copyright um, problem? Because if, too... if Mr. Dean does not want his pictures shown, uh, didn't he die in a terrible car crash? Is are you serious? <laughs> I, don't know. I don't think we should. <laughs> we won't go down that. Okay. Um, but oh, it's funny because I am on that this picture. Um, we could do a version with pictures and a version without. Okay. Good All idea. Right. So let's do this. Go ahead. I love my red shoes. Love my red shoes. Love my red shoes. Love my red shoes. I 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 like it's a different genre. Yeah, he that? went different on that one. Okay. Oh no. Oh, it's going to be the blues. Oh no, Pete's <laughs> in a large pile of blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Oh, uh, why are there, can I just ask, why are there so many large <laughs> Piles of fruit hanging around this guy's place. Like, what? He, he lives in this weird, like, you uh, know, agricultural center where they no. just... And why are they dumping the blueberries on the ground? He is... He wanders around outside the Smucker's factory. Uh, and these are the yes. jelly discards. This is the jelly discards. Mm -hmm. All jelly right. discard pack. All right, wait. You, you say the thing and then I'll go. All right. I'll say it like a large group of children are watching him. <laughs> but I'm just continuing on. I missed that cue. Yeah, you say? you read it, and then okay. I'll I'll say the next pages. Blue, blueberries. What color did it turn his shoes? Blue. But did Pete cry? 
Goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Awesome. Okay, okay. awesome, Pete. I bet I know what kind of... I love my blue. I love my shoes. I love my blue shoes. I don't know why uh, I always go up at the end of the blue shoes. You should have blue shoes. Oh, thank you. Can I do it again? I love my blue I love my shoes. I love my blue shoes. Yeah. Nailed it. Okay, thank you. Oh no. Pete stepped in a large puddle of mud. <gasps> what color uh -oh. did it turn his shoes? A brown. But the grossest Pete... color of all. Uh uh. It's the color of chocolate. Oh. Chocolate cake. Good idea. Yeah. You're right. Did Pete cry? Goodness, no. He just kept walking along and singing his song. Groovy. Groovy. Okay. Okay, what genre is I Love My Brown Shoes? <sighs> Country. Okay, needs a, needs a twang. Oh, harmonica. That's for the blues. Oh, you're right. Okay. Uh, Country twang. I love my brown shoes. Love my brown shoes, love my brown shoes, love it, love my brown shoes. <laughs> That's not country, what is it? No, I don't know what that is. It's like, it's like Yankee, Yankee Doodle. Doodle. It's Yankee Doodle. We went Sorry. from Deliverance to Sorry. Yankee Doodle. All right, I got to think more like Toby Keith. I love my brown shoes, I love my brown shoes, I love my brown shoes. I, love... I can't do a southern accent, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. yeah. Pete's got coffee. Pete is... Pete's a vibe, isn't he? He is. He's totally chill. He's groovy. That and guy. And he doesn't let things phase him. I love it. Oh, no. Pete stepped in a bucket of water. And all the brown and all the blue and all the red were washed away. And what color were his shoes again? I like this, like, little psychic bird. Yeah. He just hangs out. He's like the, um, he's like Teller. From Penn and Teller. Oh yeah, he he's just like anything. he's like, I'm just here. My my facial expressions will <laughs> yeah, tell you everything. Exactly. Physical comedy. Uh, white. I disagree. They probably would be gray at this point. Well, they would have like, been stained. Yeah, the, in the seams and the yeah. shoelaces. Yeah, sure. shoes are a little messed up, but now they're wet. You got some wet white shoes. Did Pete cry? Oh, goodness, no. He kept walking along and singing his song. Ooh, rock and roll! Rock and roll! Ow! Okay, I need some Brett Michaels or something. <laughs> I, I always think Axl Rose. Oh, yeah, Axl Rose. Um, I, I love my witch house. Oh my god. <laughs> that was nuts. Oh, the moral of Pete's story is no matter what you step in, keep walking along and singing your song. Unless, oh, because, sorry, because it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. I love it. I'm still convinced, unless you step in dog poop. Yeah. Then you gotta scrape it off. Then you do. But keep walking. Yeah. But maybe do that shuffle in the grass. Oh yeah, yeah. I like the shuffle. I well, mean, you don't want to take. Like the shuffle, you know, you don't want to though. Uh, hey, move that way a little bit. Yep, thank you. You were we're in front of the kids' pictures. We should probably block that. Ooh. Um. Yeah, you wouldn't want to take the time to. I should probably move closer to the microphone. You wouldn't want to take time to do the uh, the whole take a nail or stick and no. and get it all out of the the tread, right? Ugh. So, but you do do the the grass shuffle. The grass shuffle. Yeah, just keep walking keep along moving. and singing the song. If you got things to do, places to be, you can't let a little dog. Yeah, I mean, what if you're down. working in the middle of your job or whatever? What if you're a soldier? 
Yeah. You step in poop. You don't You're going to stop. stop and cry? Goodness, no. no. You keep going. You're going to shuffle in the grass. Yes, you do a, yeah. do a shuffle because none of the other soldiers are going to want you to smell yeah, bad. if you're in formation. Yeah. You notice Pete never stepped in poo. <laughs> well, there was not a lot of piles of poo around Smucker's factory. Yeah, no. It's strictly for Which, that's untrue because there'd be a lot of animals oh, yeah. that came to eat all of those blueberries and strawberries <laughs> laying around don't the ground. They come to eat it. They just come to step in it. <laughs> they, just, just, they just squish it. Just like, it's like mm. Sonoma with the grapes, yes. and they're just like... <laughs> Like with the little, strawberries, with little paw, prints paw prints. Yep, I love that. Okay, so. I like the message, though. What is the, me encapsulate the message again for me. Um, Things happen, and you got to keep moving. You can't let things weigh you down too much. And sometimes these little things that come up, they're kind of, they might be good, you know? Blue shoes are cool. I can encapsulate this in two words. Hakuna Matata. <laughs> That's basically what we're saying, huh? Yes. Like, no worries. Like, sometimes bad things mm -hmm. happen, and there's nothing we can do about it, so just keep moving. Yeah. I mean, Timon or Pumba says that exactly, yeah. I think. I think so. Copyright However, Disney Corporation. Don't. <laughs> I'm thinking about Simba, and I feel like they may have sort of washed over Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, but I think in Lion King and in this, we're both saying, like, there's a time and a place yeah. for Hakuna Matata. There's a time and a place for Pete the Cat's, like, total chill vibe. Like, it's cool, dude. Yes. No big deal. But there is a time to, like, clean your shoes and be <laughs> worried try, about yeah. it. When you get home. Yeah. Don't wear those shoes in your house. No. And Leave don't, them at the front. And if you had court. brand new shoes... Probably avoid the mud. Yes. Don't just be like some crazy wandering hippie that's also, just like, oh, I don't care, dude. <laughs> you wouldn't be wearing shoes if you're a wandering hippie. I think there's hippies with shoes. Uh, or I sandals. In, I lived in Portland. Flip flops. People in Portland, shoeless. Ugh. Shoeless Joe Jacksons yes. all over the place. And I kept, I would, well, first of all, we had a patio where I worked, and I would say, uh uh, no sh shirts, no shoes. No shirt, no shoes, no service. And I was, Lame. But really, there are bad things that happen on the street, and you don't want to walk through those. Yes, I agree. Gross. Gross. Bacteria in your feet. I don't think I'd want dirty feet in general. Even if you're living in the country, and there's not all the bad stuff on the streets like Portland, your feet are going to get super no. nasty, you like black feet. Nail. Yeah, it, oh, oh, you're right. Bad. That's terrible. Stickers, goat heads. There is a reason we have shoes. There is some of those survivalist guys who are like, oh, I'm a no shoe, and that's the most healthy thing for you. Or those runners, like the barefoot oh, or the, yeah. the closest to the no. earth you can be. I don't think There's so. too many rocks in the earth. Mm -mm. Yeah, I just don't want to, I don't want to get an infection in my foot. That sounds No, painful. food infect, foot infection's the worst. And then you end up having to like, like doctoring your foot in general is not super easy. You know, like doctoring your hand is right here. You gotta like bring your foot up and. <laughs> like, I don't want to have to bend over. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> basically so what I'm saying. So much There's work. too much work to bend over I, to do that. Yeah, I don't care if my foot falls off. No. I just don't want to have to like <laughs> bend over to wash my foot or put a band aid on. Yes. So that effort. is why I wear shoes. Especially if you like, oh, I just ate a big meal. Oh, yeah. And then you're just doing the like roll around. Yeah. What do the hippies. Who eat a big meal do oh, about their bare feet? They're vegan. Oh. So they're very lean. They, they just... don't fill up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got way off track. Yeah, we're off track. It's okay to be sad if your brand new shoes get uh, dirty. But don't freak out. Just do your thing till you get home and then you use some OxyClean. Yes, absolutely. Clean those things up. Or even just soap and water is yeah. pretty well, good. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. I'm really going to sell the OxyClean. <laughs> You're hoping for that the sweet, sweet OxyClean <laughs> money that's going to come yeah. rolling in. Carl, have I told you about OxyClean? No, tell me all about when it. When I have stains at my house, I just put things in a bucket of OxyClean. Oh, my, mm -hmm. that is amazing. Nine out of ten. I can't say it. Yeah, you, you me I messed, messed it up. up. I'm fired. Nine I'm fired. out of ten house people could be wives or <laughs> no. husbands. Sorry. Enjoy... Oxyclean. I was trying to be 50s. 
Yeah, that no, I, yeah, there was only housewives in the 50s. Mm-hmm. Now it's different. All right. I like Pete the Cat's vibe though. I mean, in general, yes. I think that that's a cool vibe to go into 2020. I think that's a great way to be. I think that all of this uh COVID like stuff on our education system is terrible and has been really hard and maybe you know there's a metaphor there about walking through life and, and let's get to 2021 yeah and, sure. and just keep keep on trucking that's an old 60s thing too Pete the Cat's very 60s I, he is keep he's, on he's a trucking man a lot. yeah um, he's got big Elton John sunglasses when was were these books created um Copyright. Yeah. Uh, oh, 2008. Really? Yeah, those were happy times. Wow. I mean, if you think about it, 2020 is, it's not a pile of strawberries and a pile of blueberries. It's a pile of other stuff. Other bad stuff. Garbage. Garbage stuff. But just keep walking through the garbage. Yeah. To the other side. Yeah. There was a song like Walking on Broken Glass. Is that anything? Yeah, that's Annie Lennox. Is that similar to... Could we play that song? Uh, no. Can you sing that song? No. I can. <laughs> Not that I want to. <laughs> walking on, walking on, broken yep. glass. Okay, I did kind of want to. <laughs> you did I'm a great sorry. job. I, got <laughs> I know. I think it's uh, it's about. It's not about this. I don't know. That's it's not the same. It's relationship stuff. It's not. Oh, that's not the same. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, I enjoyed Pete the Cat. Thank you for reading that to me. You're welcome. Um, oh, I have to tell you. I told yeah. Yasmin. She was asking me why I was looking for this book, and I said I was going to read it to Mr. Edie. And uh-huh. she said, why? He's not a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, yes, he is. <laughs> oh, I said, he's a big baby. That's also true. <laughs> but also, big people can enjoy little books, right? Yeah. I enjoy the structure of a, uh, they would say children's book, but a a small form, you know, illustrated book, because it it really has a whole message in a in a small package. Yes. I think that you can really do a lot with that. Uh, That's pretty good. Yes, I love that. Um, I love the the boldness mm-hmm. of that. I really like. Well, I like reading these books. But um, they always, you know, make me happy. Yeah, a little yeah. uplifting. Yeah. I love it. A little bit happy. Okay. Right. Uh, this has been Mr. E and Mrs. K read. And this was Pete the Cat. I love my white shoes. All right. Thank you, Mrs. K. Kavanaugh out. Kavanaugh out! <laughs> Did, then maybe you should do the book throw like a no. Letterman. No. No. Um, can you can you do maybe a maybe a, a point and throw like yeah. Uh, Catch you on the flip pew, side. Pew. Yeah. Oh pew pew, 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 pew pew. Nice. All right. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Um. Oh, sorry. Did you stop it? I haven't stopped it yet. Do you oh, have more well, to no, say? No, I was just gonna say. Would, this is not my book. This is Mr. McClellan's book. So. Oh, thank you, Mr. McClellan, for letting us yeah. borrow the book too. As soon as he turns off the camera, I'm throwing it. <laughs> okay. Bye. All right. That's it. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Now what do we do? <laughs> I really don't know what to do with this piece I of... Uh... <laughs> Masterpiece. <laughs> How do I save it? Oh, no.